Hello once again, welcome back. Tonight we're going to talk about three different modules. Token overlays. Something as a DM that I have found is really helpful is being able to quickly look at either characters or mobs and figure out what's their hit points, armor class, passive perception. Of course, the Foundry community has stepped up its game and there are actually three that I know of, that I've used, modules out there that handle all this. So anyways, let's jump right in. So the modules we're gonna talk about are, let's scroll down here, we'll just show you guys which ones they are. So you, and I'll put them in the show notes as well. We have got token info icons right here. Simple module that displays speed, armor class, passive perceptions, perception. Then we're gonna to do token tooltip, which is a uh, fairly new, it came out uh, I think a week or two ago. And then we're gonna do, again, one of the, part of the suite from Sebastian, the party overview one. So let's just jump right in and uh, see what it looks like. So I've got my game up. This is the actually a Waterdeep Dragon Heist that I am now running with some friends and uh, just fired off. Last night we had our first session. So this is a, a map I built in Dungeon Draft, which is a, a really super cool tool, but I'm not qualified to speak on that because I just got it and still learning how it works. So let's go here and look at our modules, make sure we have one. We'll go, we'll look at them one by one just to show you guys so it's not kind of confusing and everything. So we're going to start off with, we'll turn that one off. We're going to start here and do token info icons by Jan o Peak Chalk One. There's a link to it on the project, so let's save it. The game will reload because most of most time when you when you run a module, it does require a reload. This one is pretty simple. When you click on a character, well, you're supposed to, oh, there it is. I hadn't used this in a while. So normally when you click on a character and you double click, it's gonna open up their character sheet. So in this aspect, when you right click, you see a couple highlighted things there, which is the movement, armor class, and passive perception. So whether it is a mob, a, you know, um, or a player character or whatever. So it's a great easy way if you're, if you want to keep kind of minimal interface and you want it to look really similar to what Foundry has, it kind of takes the same cue from the design. I use this one quite a bit and you know, it works out really well. Very simple, nothing to configure, nothing in settings to manage at all. You just install it, activate it, and you are good to go. Let's double check just to show that there's nothing here in settings. We'll go here to modules. And I do not have anything here at all. Yeah, so nothing there at all. And that's it. So let's go to the next one here. So we're going to go and turn these off and on as we go through them. And yes, I have a lot of modules. I use some, I turn some off, and you know, they all just kind of <laughs> depends. So we'll turn token info off, and we're going to turn on token tooltip by Sky, who's very active on the Discord. He's written a number of modules, and some, a lot of them are really cool. So love, love his work that he does. So let's save this one. Let's see what this one looks like as well. Same idea. Up oh, this one, I got token mold. Let's turn this. Don't show screen till next update. I keep meaning to do that, and I keep forgetting. This one's uh, even more simpler. This one just on a hover, right? Which is really great. You don't have to click anything, and you notice I have the other one turned off. So on this one, when I hover over an, a creature, it will show information. And that's aspect, what do we have here? Armor class, hit points, uh, passive perception, I believe investigation. I'm not sure what, or what, the, what the 10 is. Let me see here, it might be investigation, yeah, I think a 10. And then movement speed, same thing here. So if I look at Bear Lot, his investigation is 11, so that is it. So again, pretty good, uh, pretty good token. Uh, um, excuse me, <laughs> P 
pretty good module for just trying to figure out things. If you want high level, it's blue, so it stands out a little bit more. And he's updating it constantly. Again, nothing to configure. You just install. I do notice that sometimes the CSS seems to be, I don't know if it's a certain gap or distance, you notice certain tokens that seems to be a little further away than where others and everything and I had some issues early on where it was sticking it wouldn't refresh but other than that it seems to be fixed and a, another really great a little bit more information than the other one again like the other one does not have any settings at all to adjust you just install it turn it on you're good to go refresh and you're good to go so we're going to turn that one off and now let's go to the the last one here virtual tabletop assets uh, from Ian Sebastian he's written a, a good number you can see I'm using probably most of them to be honest I I like them a lot and they work out very well this one's a little bit different it's kinda cool I actually have not used this one in game I've seen it but I just haven't dug in deep and I was like you know what? maybe I'll give it a whirl this time again like the others this one's on a hover and it gives you instead of icons information actually just shows you health armor class speed this one shows passive perception investigation again and then passive insight so it shows one one little uh, you know item versus the other which is that inside aspect of it also has this thing here noticeable by you know bear lot underview fangru so if you have a hidden creature or something to that effect i believe um then it will be noticeable by undetectable because based on you know movement stuff i haven't really played with it but you can i guess leverage that if people notice something or along that line i'm trying to figure out why we're having issues with that it might be hopefully not a five seven bug the other thing on this one if you go up here in the actors directory you now have this little information button if you click it it brings up a kind of summary window so you can kind of see all of your party members at a glance so if you're so they're scattered everywhere you just want to know what's everyone's hit point current hit points armor class perception and stealth and everything this is a good way you can filter it out so you can get rid of you know get rid of some of them and say hey I want to see the ones that hidden ones I want to see all of them or I want to see the ones that are turned on and everything so a couple couple options there that you can set for that and this one also so if you you know subtract some hit points off of a character you'll see it kind of live updating the information so if the character takes a damage or you know maybe he unequipped some some armor here and you know armor class is going to go down or whatever it, you know it should update although I've been having issues with this one character import uh, and everything so again a little bit more information I have not used this one in the game but it looks like it could be really helpful and all that also Sebastian has a little bit more information on his side as far as uh, managing and where you can um, see some of the stuff so let's switch over here you can kind of see on the VTTA assets website a little bit more information on the module how it works and all that so feel free to play with it again just wanted to showcase these three so if you're looking for as a DM for an overlay to get a quick view of your party there are these modules in fact if you are a glutton for punishment you can turn them on because it does not look like they all interfere with one another taking information that's already in the game so if you really want to and want to see how they all look side by side, well, let's do that. That's easy enough to do, right? You just highlight it so you see both there, right click, and then there, there you go. You see all three um, modules in action. So you as the DM get to play and figure out which one you'd like to use and, and everything for your game and all that. So have fun, go out, slay some monsters, and we'll talk to you later.